If you decide to use the Flexbox container to design your websites, you're going to be assured of websites that load faster, design complex layouts, and also better responsive controls. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the new Flexbox container in Elementor. So here's the old way you would design websites. So if you click on this plus button, you get the structure here. These are all your columns. So you would say, okay, you know what? Let's go for a single column here. And then if you click here, you can also add in inner sections. So this is how you would structure all your content. So let's start adding a few items in here. So let's say you add a bit of text in here and then over to the right, you add an image. So you can just drag and drop it like that. And then over here in this big section here, we can go in and uh, perhaps increase the size. So let's go to fit to screen. The process of adding all our elements is quite straightforward, but it has a lot of limitations. If I wanted to add another button here next to this button, that's a bit tricky because uh, let's first of all delete this one here so I can show you what I mean. So now that this one is gone, your thoughts will be, you know what, why don't we drag this inner section here and add it here? But we can't add it. It only goes below this inner section here. So we can't really add inner sections in this design here. And this is my first little limitation, but of course there are other limitations that you come through as you're designing with sections and columns. It's time now to try the new Flexbox container in Elementor. So now when we come to Flexbox, here's the thing. So it's similar because if I drag and drop here, or if I just click on this plus button, we notice that Hmm, this looks very familiar. But uh, the telltale sign that this is different is these arrows here. Because when you design using Flexbox, it's all about alignment and direction. So those two things you need to bear in mind as you're designing this, alignment and direction. So I'm gonna do a similar design to what we've just done. So I'm gonna drag another container and drop it in here. So now we have a container inside a container. So if I right click here, I can duplicate it. So now I have two containers. So what I can do now is I can start adding all my content. So let's add our text. We can add our description text. Please note the drag and drop system is still the same. And remember, we also had an image to the right. So let's add our image. It's time to see how the Flexbox directions affects our design. So at the moment, everything is going down. This is how we chose that. And you can see that by taking a look here. So now we wanna change the direction. So I'm gonna say that, and now the direction has changed. So everything is going that way. But we're not done yet because we need to go in and add our buttons. So if I come back and say, add my button. Now, if I did that, my button is gonna go in there. And let's say I add my other button like that. If I try to align these, this wouldn't really work because I need my own container in order for me to control the direction. So this is where I need to go in and delete that and show you how I would be able to achieve that. So let's delete that. So now I'm gonna drag a container and drop it in here. Now this is something that we couldn't do in the old way of designing our site. So this time I can now go to my button and drop it in there. So I'm gonna drag, drop it in here. I can either duplicate this like that. So now that I have my own container, which I can see by hovering over here, if I click that, I have to look for my direction and here it is, boom. Now my buttons are next to each other. Now, while I have this selected, I also have other controls. So as you choose your direction here, it comes with your justify content. So let's say I want my buttons to have space in between. I'll just do that. And now they are now separate from each other. I can choose this. Now this will have some space around them. And I can also choose that. So now they're a bit closer together. Or you can just have them centered just like that. And now they're closer together. Now, do you see how much I have more control in designing this as compared to the other way or the old way of designing our site. So this is fantastic. So I wanna leave this as it is, but uh, we also have one thing that we need to do here and that is we want this stuff here all centered, right? So to achieve that, you have to go now to the bigger container because this is what is uh, this is what has the inner stuff inside. So the bigger container has the rules to what happens inside. So if I click here now, I can now say, okay, I want everything centered, so this is my align items. So if I click on that, now it's centered. 
So if you need to adjust the height of this, you can just come over here. And this is where you can say minimum height. You can set it as VH. And then you can just drag your slider. And as you're dragging your slider here, you notice that everything is all centered. Now I know you're excited that we're able to build this layout without using columns. This is the design we're trying to achieve in the next example. So I'm going to start off by clicking here on this plus button and we're going to go with the first option. So notice that our direction is facing down. Next, I'm going to add my elements. So in this example, I'm going to add some images. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Click over here, choose my image from the library and click on insert. So I know I'm going to have two more images. I'm going to right click, duplicate, right click, duplicate. Now I can just go in here and change the image. So this one here is going to be that, insert media. I'm going to scroll down and then finally I'm going to change this image here to maybe this one here. Okay, great. I'm going to insert. Now that I have my three images, you notice that they are one on top of the other, but that's not the layout we need. So how do we rearrange that? So remember in Flexbox, we use direction and alignment. So I'm going to click here on the main container. So you need to click here on the main container. Now notice that the direction here is facing down. So what we need is to go to the right. So if I do that, notice that all my images now are in a straight line. So that's how easy it is. Now, if you want to reverse this and maybe you want the bag over here to the right, all you have to do is to click there and now the bag is over here to the right. So to finalize this design, let's give this a bit of breathing space. So I'm going to click here on the container and then I'm going to now go to my minimum height, set it to VH and I'm going to set this to 80 of the viewport. Next, I need to center all this. So I'm going to now come over here to center and now everything is all centered. If I need to add a background color, I can just come again over here to my section, go to style and then click over here on classic. And this is how I can add my color. So I'm just going to go with something quite dark. Another way to understand the Flexbox container is to imagine that you have a box. In this box, you can put in anything you want and you can also arrange things the way you want. So in this case, you can now decide whether you want to have one on top of the other or you want to have things next to each other. You also have the ability to align things vertically or horizontally. Now, if we take this a step further, you can have boxes within boxes and these box within boxes also have the same rules. With the concept of boxes within boxes, let's try another example. So here's what we're going to design. So I'm going to drag and drop my first container here. And then I'm going to start adding my content. So this is going to be a heading. Next, I'm going to add my description text just below my heading. So the next step now is to add another container within the first container. So I'm going to drag and drop it here. So if you take a look over here, we have our first container here. I mean, you can call this a parent container and this is a child. So the child container here is going to have its own elements in there. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to come over here. And the first thing I'm going to add is an image. So let's go ahead and add our image. All these containers have their own way of controlling the uh, information in it. So if I come over here to my first container and notice that I'm here on my first one, I can align things centered like that. Now I want to come over here to this uh, second container. And again, if I click here, this has its own rules. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add another container in here just to make it super complicated and very fun to work with. So again, I'm going to click here, drag and drop my container like that. So notice that we have a container, an image and a container in this second one here. I know it's going to get confusing, but check this out. What I can do now is I'm going to go into this container here, which has the bag and the other container. So take a look here. So with that selected now, I want my content to be horizontal. So if I do that, now I have my bag on the left and then over here on the right, I have another container where I can add my content in there. So let's start doing that. So over here, let's add an icon box. So I'm going to search for it and then just drag it and drop it. Now I can go in and change my um, icon in there. So let's say that one needs to be, I'm just going to choose random icons here. It doesn't really matter what icon I'm using. This is just for... Uh, example purposes. Okay, so now that I have this, I can have a few of these. So let's get rid of our navigator here. We don't really need that. So I'm going to duplicate this a few times. So I'm going to right click, duplicate this, right click, duplicate it. Okay, so now I have three, but I don't want them one on top of the other. Now notice that this container here 
has its own rules. So if I come in here, I can decide, okay, I want to have this horizontal. So now my content in here is now horizontal. So now I can go in and customize this. So let's say I just want to have two of these. Let's delete one of these and then change the icon. So I'm going to come over here and the icon I'm going to go with is this one. Okay, so now we have two icons and this is now our content. So I was able to add my heading here, which I'm going to go in and change and hit update. And I also want to give this a bit of breathing space. So I'm going to come over here and increase my minimum height. So let's go with 80. But notice that everything is stuck at the top here. I want everything centered in here. So to achieve that, I'm going to come over here to justify content and then choose center. So now everything is all centered. Now I can even increase this to about 100% if I need more breathing space. In fact, you know what, let's go with 94. After spending a bit of time playing around with the Flexbox container, I can tell you that I was really surprised that you can build complex layouts. So this new way of designing websites is going to make your websites faster and you're also going to achieve more complex layouts. All right, let me know what you think in the comments box below. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.